Hi everyone, my name is Raylan with the Hustle Network and in today's episode we are going to be talking about two different marketplace platforms for moving. So I have gotten several, several questions about getting set up. Um, so here it is. So first things first, we're going to start with Hire a Helper, which is just like uh, movinghelper.com, um, but this one is pretty friendly uh, I would say it is definitely user friendly more than the other one so here I am just showing you guys what the site looks like so this is what a customer is seeing you can see it shows moving help now strictly or you can with U-Haul they don't with the provide truck. any truck it um, is just strictly labor all right, so local movers you can trust. We are gonna go down to how it works because I wanna show you guys and give you uh, not just my description, but theirs as well. So you search by city and availability, you compare the prices and reviews, you book the team and you get your move date and the booking info. Now we're gonna go ahead and go down to get listed on hire a helper. It's really this simple, okay? It's literally like just a page to fill out and then they will contact you if you know they feel that you may meet their criteria and then you can go on with setting up your whole profile. So leads are lame, you want orders. Remember, hire a helper does not contact you for anything unless they have a move that has already been booked. They're basically waiting for you to um, service that mover, I mean, service that customer and complete the booking. I mean, complete the move. So it is like a marketplace. Like I said, a visitor comes to see company reviews, prices and credentials and book you for the service. Um, joining hire helper is like a free business software. We send you jobs. We send jobs straight to your inbox or phone. And you accept them. Zero risk. Quit anytime. And remember, they do take 29% on all orders. All right. So this is basically what you're going to be filling out. I'm going to go ahead and fill out my basic information. I'm going to be clicking next. And this is it. This is the information, your driver's license number, your social security number, optional. Um, but you do have to be willing to submit a background check. You have to understand that, um, you know, you are going into people's homes, uh, whatever the case is, even if it's at the garage. Customers want to know who's going into their home and making sure that the people that are going into their homes or their garages, loading their trucks, are people that can pass a background check, okay? Um, let's see. So then you have your business information, your business name, or you're doing business as, your phone number. Um, how many crews can you provide? How many miles are you willing to travel? What year did you start your business? Do you own your own truck? Um, and their questions are a little more deep in depth if you ask me than moving help helper. Uh, so they say, do you carry a valid business license? Do you carry a business insurance? Are you a fully licensed mover? Um, are you an existing service provider? And then you do have to agree to the terms and conditions. Of course, this is something you always wanna look on because this information is very and highly important. And I advise that you do look at that information. Um, but yeah, so business insurance, it does ask that you do provide it um, after, you know, once you are approved um, and different information like that. And other than that, that is the basic information. You will receive an email after, and then you can set it up. So we are going to go ahead and go into the part where you can book a move. So this is where customers look at prices. Hello. Here, we are going to just go in with moving help instead of the movers with the truck. And I'm going to do both, basically saying that I need help loading my truck and unloading. So my loading date will be the 10th, and I, for zip code, I'm going to go ahead and put in 95864. 
All right, so moving kings, they charge $200 for two movers for two hours. So basically $100 a mover. And here I can see that they have 197 verified reviews. They are available between six and nine and how many moves they actually have completed with Hire at Helper. We are, we are a, a four man crew that is responsible on time, fast and very hard workers. That can definitely need that definitely needs to be um, fixed. Um, but you can get a quote emailed to you. The price includes two helpers, two movers, sixty per hour of labor after all travel to your location, zero do zero dollars per mile. So one thing I think with U-Haul that they do now is you can charge um, mileage, like your travel fee. Um, so let's go down. So fast time movers, 282 an hour. Smooth move, king of quality. We want to know, dang, am I charging too much? Um, do I need to charge in between? Am I charging too cheap? It's always great to look at your competition to see where you can add things that where you can improve on. Um, so that's basically that one. So let's go ahead and go to um, moving helper. All right, guys. So this is moving helper. Um, need work, help others move. We are going to be going into the register. So make money helping people move. Become a moving help service provider and help others move on your schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and put in our basic information. All right, you have to agree to the terms and conditions. I advise that everyone read through the terms and conditions, okay? It's, it's highly important that you're looking at what you're agreeing to. All right, so this is what this information looks like. Tell us about yourself. You are going to enter the basic information, um, background check, and then your business info. And like I said in my book, um, which you can purchase on Amazon right now, I will leave the description in the box below. Um, there are certain things that you have to say in order to get approved uh, that works best that I've had um, you know, experience with, and then your contact information. After all of this, they will email you and let you know if you've been approved or not. Okay, so now let's go to, to movinghelp.com. So just like I showed you guys with Hire a Helper where the customers, um, where the customers go and book the move, this is where the customer goes and books the move for U-Haul. search for moving help near your near you you can put in the address the service date things like that and they will show you here what you are or what you can offer so loading and loading loading and unloading packing home cleaning heavy furniture u box delivery u box load and unload so if you have a truck and you can deliver a u box that's even another added resource. I mean, another added income, um, another source of making money is delivering you boxes. To put 15 or 14, we'll put Lake Orion. We'll do the 10th. We'll choose our time. This is what a customer would do if they are looking for moving help. So now that I have pulled up the competition, you can see uh, the first listing, 350 uh, for two hours, 164, 150. So the first listing, yeah, they have 10 reviews and they're priced at 350. I would rather choose as a customer, make a move for 150 and they have over 62 reviews and they're like almost.
That is why it's really important that we are looking at our competition to see, you know, who, what our pricing is or what our pricing should be at, um, because that is very, very important. That's something that you need to look at because you can be charging too much or you can be charging too little. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to help you guys as much as possible. I always get inquiries um, about how it's supposed to be set up or people are not understanding. And that's because U-Haul site is not as user friendly. Um, but I definitely will go in my profile on the next video and show you guys how to set up your services, um, where you can add in the cleaning, the packing, how many helpers by the hour, um, show you guys how you guys can block off days that you may be on vacation or just maybe days you guys don't feel like moving uh, because those are important because if you don't block off those days and you get booked um, what happens is with U-Haul at least I know with U-Haul if you don't fulfill those moves um, there's only a certain amount that they give you and then they won't list you anymore on their site so that is very important that you are fulfilling the moves and if you aren't available or don't feel like it that's something you guys need to make sure that you are going into the site and um, blocking that day off or, you know, only taking morning jobs or whatsoever. Other than that, again, my name is Raylan. You can follow me on Instagram at Raylan Dunn. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to get more information. Other than that, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below if this is something you are wanting to try out or you succeed in, I gotta go. The kids are calling for me. You guys have a good one and until next time.